Hi, this is AJ from wpixlore.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use our elegant free WordPress theme. So when you first activate your theme, by default, you'll see your homepage is basically just your recent posts. And this is pretty much how every theme out there works. So the first thing you wanna do is set up your homepage. Now, if you wanna just display blog posts on the homepage, you can do that. So basically you have nothing to do. But if you wanna set up a homepage like our live demo, then that requires some steps. So the first thing you want to do is create a new page and just call it homepage and then select the homepage template and publish it. Once that's published, go to settings, reading, and you can set that page as your homepage. Now you'll notice there's a post page option here too, and that's for your blog. So let's just create a new page and call it blog, publish it. You don't have to select any template for this. You just go to settings, reading again, and now select that one for your post page. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to appearance menus and let's just add those two pages to our main menu. So you can see WordPress automatically starts adding your pages to a empty menu. So just call it main menu. We'll just have our homepage and our blog. Let's create it and let's assign it to the main menu location. And that's the one in the header. All right, now when you refresh your site, you can see now we got our homepage and we got our blog. And our homepage still doesn't really look my, like much, it's just showing your latest post. So the first section, so if you look at the live demo, you can see we got a slider. So to add your slider, just go right here, it says home slides, and just add a new item. So it's got slide one then you'll want to set a featured image for the slide. So right now I don't have any images, so let me upload one. And then in the bottom corner you'll see set featured image and then publish that. Now when you refresh your homepage, you should see the first slide. And so you can keep doing that and you can add as many slides as you want. Here you can add a little caption, so slide caption. You can also add a URL if you want to link your slide to another website or page or you can also hide the title completely. So let's give it a caption and refresh. So there you can see the caption. Oops. All right. So the next section that we have is this right here. So if we go back to our WordPress dashboard, you can see right here, we got home features and that's what this section is. So we'll just go ahead and create a new one. Let's call it feature one. And then here you'll add any content you want. And then you have a couple options for your features. So if you look at your live demo or our live demo, you can see we have little icons for each one. The way that's done is by adding an icon font class right here. And this is based on font awesome. So you can click on the link right here to learn more about that. So basically there's a list of um, icon fonts that you can use and they all have little names. So let's open it right now in a new tab. All right, so here's Font Awesome. So if you go, all right, we're already in icons. So if you scroll down, you can see all these icons. And so you notice each one has a name. So that's the that's what you'll enter into the field. So for example, if we want this icon, no, let's, let's say shield. If you want that one, all you gotta do is type in shield right here. And let's publish that. So now when we revisit the homepage, you should see our first feature right there. And so you can just keep adding as many as you want and they're going to appear on the homepage under the slider. Additionally, you can um, select a feature image and that'll display instead of the icon. Now looking back at the live demo, the next section is our recent work. So these are gonna be our portfolio items. Um, so we're gonna log back, oops, log back into our dashboard and go to portfolio, add new. So we'll create our first portfolio item. So we'll call it portfolio item one. Here you can add anything you want. That's just gonna be the content on your uh, portfolio post. And then for the portfolio, you have a couple options. You have a standard portfolio, which is just basically the text in here, video or gallery. If you select gallery, then you'll see down here, there's an image gallery option. That's where you can add images. So you would click there and you would add an image, click add to gallery. And you can add as many as you want and you can drag and drop those. 
and these will display as a slider on the post. So let's see if we go to our live demo. Um, let's see if there's any examples with the sliders. Okay, right here. If you add gallery images, they'll display like this as a slider. Um, if not, you'll just want to set your featured image and just publish it. So now when we look back at the home page, you should now see our recent work as well. And so again, you'll just add as many portfolio items as you need and they'll show up right here on the home page. Now, if you look at our live demo, we also have a portfolio page and a staff page. So the portfolio page, that's very easy to create. All you gotta do is create a new page. Let's call it portfolio and select the portfolio template. And this will automatically display all your portfolio items as you've entered them right here under portfolio. So if you go to it, you see there's the portfolio item we added. Now for staff, let's close this. For staff, you'll go here, click new item. So let's staff member one. And again, all you do is you add your content here. So that might be a little description about your staff member and then you'll wanna add a featured image. And publish it. So now we got a staff member. The staff members do not show up on the homepage, but you can go ahead and create a new page, call it staff or whatever you want, and then select the staff template. And that'll automatically display your staff members. So you can see the one we added right there. So that's pretty much it actually for the theme. Um, so we, we went over how to add your homepage, your staff page, portfolio page, how to set up the home page and the blogs. So the last thing is to customize the theme. So there are some options for a theme and that'll be under appearance customize. So right down here, you'll see header, portfolio, staff, blog, and copyright. And these are the different uh, theme options. So under header, you can upload your custom logo. So that will allow you to change right here, the, the logo to an image. For portfolio, you can choose to disable the portfolio completely. You can enable comments. You can uh, enable disable the related items. You can select a custom category for your homepage. For example, if you have different portfolio items, you might want to create a category called featured to display just those ones on your homepage. You can select um, how many you want to show on the homepage and how many you want to show on the portfolio uh, page. For the staff, you can also disable it, enable comments, and you can choose how many you want to show on the staff page template. For your blog, you can just disable a few options. So if we go to our blog, you can hide the read more link. Um, you can hide the featured image on entries. I don't have any right now. And you can hide the featured image on your posts. And then of course you can change the custom copy copyright information right here with your own custom text. All right, so that's pretty much um, it for the theme. Um, it's really easy to use, really easy to set up. And of course, if you have any bugs with the theme, just visit wexplorer.com and log in. And if you hover over your username, you'll see a link to submit a bug report.